We have the president of China making some more statements and basically telling his armies to prepare for war. So many words, he's saying that they need to be ready to deal with anything that pops up at any given moment. And he also is stressing that this is connected to Taiwan. Now, we've known there's been a situation here between Taiwan and China for some time. Taiwan basically sees itself as being independent, but still a part of China. It's kind of a very weird and tricky situation where China says, you know, you're part of the mainland. You've never established independence, so you're part of our country, and we're not going to let you just kind of dangle there and let the bad guys come in and take over the area. That's how Xi Jinping is seeing it. Now, the U.S. is seeing it as an opportunity to wrestle away Taiwan from China and to position there. They have U.S. military leadership that's been going there. They've been selling their ships right between the little bitty strait between Taiwan and China. That close to mainland China, the U.S. has been sailing the warships. So now, Xi Jinping is stating that all units must correctly understand major national security and development trends and strengthen their sense of unexpected hardship, crisis, and battle. He says, we must prepare for a comprehensive military struggle from a new starting point. It says, Preparation for war and combat must be deepened to ensure the efficient response in times of emergency. So, in other words, he is preparing these troops for war. Now, I recently put out a video also talking about how the world's largest hedge fund manager was talking about how the U.S. dollar is losing its reserve status. And the currency that's stepping up to the plate and will be there to replace it if it falls will be the Chinese currency. They already have it in their IMF basket. I'll leave a link. This has been Dabu7. And this is Kaluminati.